Hey guys. Welcome to couple. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. A few weeks ago, rumors spread across the internet that a child had died in Immigrations and Customs Enforcement custody. It turned out that information was false. The Vice News report that spurred those rumors, however, is just as disturbing. It tells the story of Yasmin Juarez, 20, a Guatemalan asylum seeker who entered the U.S. in March and was detained by ICE in Dili, Texas. She brought her 18-month-old daughter, Marie, across the border with her. While in detention, Marie developed a respiratory infection that became increasingly serious. When Juarez was released, she sought medical treatment for her daughter, but it was too late. Six weeks after their release, Marie died. Juarez is now taking legal action against ICE. Her lawyers told Vice, instead of offering safe harbor from the life-threatening violence they were fleeing, ICE detained Yasmin and her baby in a place with unsafe conditions, neglectful medical care, and inadequate supervision, said R. Stanton Jones, a partner at Washington, D.C.-based Arnold and Porter law firm. While there, Marie contracted a respiratory infection that went woefully undertreated for nearly a month. After it became clear that Marie was gravely ill, I simply discharged mother and daughter. Yasmin immediately sought medical care for her baby, but it was too late. Doctors contacted by Vice for the article say that the treatment that Marie received was reasonable, and it's possible she would have died even if she had hospital care from the beginning of her illness. Others say that the stress of being in detention could have damaged Marie's immune system. Respiratory diseases, they flourish in the setting of crowding, Peter Otez, Dean of the National School of Tropical Medicine at the Baylor College of Medicine told Vice. Now you're adding this terrible level of psychosocial stress on kids, that could also impair their immune system, making them more susceptible to viruses and bacteria. Those stresses are real, they affect the child's abilities to fight an infection and illness and win, Brian Blaischt, a pediatrician who has worked in immigrant detention centers, told Vice.